Hey Pisces, it's Suzanne with Sunny Forest Tarot. Welcome back. Uh, this is part three um, to your reading. We'll see what comes up. We'll see if a storyline here continues for you or if we get we get a whole nother topic to talk about. Okay, so there's there's been a lot of energy around a romance for you here. We'll see if that continues. We don't know. We don't know. All right, so I'm using a third deck here. All right, so the first card, again, around the situation, what you're manifesting in this situation, the details around this situation, and then finally, the guidance. All right, so let's see, what do we have? All right, so we've got the mice. The mice. And then we have the emperor. Ooh, okay. So right away, I feel like we're going in a in a different direction. I feel like this is this is about something changing around somebody who has some type of authority over you. Okay, it could be a parent, it could be a father in particular, um, it could be um, it could be a boss. Something is changing, or you are worried about a particular person that has some type of authority over you. All right, um, it might be somebody that can affect your stability. So let's see, what are you manifesting in this particular situation? Five of Cups. Okay. So immediately, I feel like you're worried about losing something that you're emotionally tied to when it comes to somebody that holds some type of authority or some type of um, ranking over you. You're worried this person might cause a loss for you in some in some way, okay? Um, you might feel like somebody is has abandoned you. If this is a father figure, you might be, um, you know, this might be a life story for you that a father has abandoned you in some way or a parent has abandoned you in some way, and for some reason this is coming up for you, you're thinking about it, what are the details about this? Then we have five of swords. So one thing that I'm seeing here, we've got a five here, a five here, and a five here. So whatever is going on with the situation, whatever reason you are thinking about this, you know, somebody... Um, Again, somebody who has some type of authority over you, there's something changing about that situation. You are, you know, Five of Cups sometimes I feel like is an assumptions card. So like if you're going to assume, generally speaking, human beings assume the worst. I feel like you're assuming the worst um, about a particular situation. You feel like something is going to be a fight versus versus for it to go smoothly when it comes to a conversation. Okay, over here, what is the guidance? And then we have five of pentacles. Wow. Um, wow. Five, five, five. So what, what is missing here? Which five is missing? We're missing the five of wands. Okay, so that is actually the most important card here. So the Five of Wands, you know, is really about a, a potential rivalry or really not knowing where you stand with this particular person. I feel like that's at the core of it. There's somebody that is important into your, in your life in some way that you're, you're assuming the worst about. You feel like it's going to be a fight and you also feel like you're going to get um, left out in the cold but this is the guidance card so I feel like you know when it comes to guidance around 
the Five of Pentacles. Um, you know, this can be, I feel like this is uh, Spirit saying, if you assume the worst, if you assume it's going to be a fight, you know, you can expect to lose something. You know, you're creating this, this situation here by how you are thinking about this particular person. This could be an Aries that you're dealing with, okay, Emperor. It's like you're manifesting this. All right, so I want to look at the Emperor and I want to look at this Five of Pentacles. Five of Pentacles, which is, which is the guidance. It might be saying, you know, this isn't worth it. This person isn't worth it. Isn't worth the worry. Isn't worth the negative assumptions. If you're assuming the worst about this person, you're assuming that there's going to be a fight with this person, Five of Pentacles, the guidance might be, leave this person alone. Leave this person um Leave this person out in the cold. It, this person isn't worth it. Um, but you're putting a lot of energy into this, whatever it is, whoever this is, whoever this is for. Interesting, the sun. So there's somebody that I feel like you have, you might have a lot of respect for, or you might look up to, or this is somebody that when you're around them makes you feel good or makes you feel happy about yourself. Um, you might put this person on a pedestal. That might be why the sun is coming out here. But when the sun goes down, it feels like that's when all of these fives start coming out for you. You know, all of these assumptions, assuming that there has to be a fight and maybe in order to get what you want. Maybe this is something that is going on with you at your work and you feel like there's no way I'm going to get what I want. From this person there's no way I'm going to get this promotion there's no way I'm going to get um, this job that's what it feels like guidance around the five of Pentacles nine of wands yeah I feel like this is saying be very cautious about you know assuming all of these fives you know fives are about change and chaos what you're doing right now what you're creating through how you're looking at this, you know, you're, um, you're creating that change in chaos. You're creating that. Um, and I feel like the guidance is, is to be, is to be very cautious about assuming the worst. Okay. Because I feel like that's what you're doing in this situation. This could be related to the other readings, okay? It could be related to reading one and reading two. Um, you know, if you feel somebody's energy, a masculine or a divine masculine that's coming in that is meant to bring a lot of happiness and you're assuming, you know, negative, something negative happening from this or maybe this person being how they used to be or not being what you expect. And, you know, I feel like Spirit is saying it really behooves you to be very cautious about assuming the worst. Okay? All right, so I don't really feel like I need any oracle cards for this one. So that is reading number three. We will move on to reading number four for you. And, you know, we'll see what else comes out. All right? Thanks so much. Bye.